Hi, I'm Ro and this is Chloe, one of our museum scientists. Um, today we're here in the mammals collection talking about the smallest mammal, the shrew. Um, if you haven't seen our other video about how much shrews eat, please do check it out in the description. Um, yeah, so Chloe, uh, shrews look kind of tiny and a bit like mice. Are they closely related to mice? They're actually not closely related to mice at all. They are not rodents. They're more closely related to moles and hedgehogs. That's really surprising that they could be related to, you know, something as big as a hedgehog mm -hmm. and spiky. <laughs> um, they're not spiky. They're actually very soft. <laughs> um, so what kind of food do shrews eat? They eat a lot. Uh, typically their diet is made up of things like insects, slugs, spiders, snails and worms. Nice. And do they have to get through a lot of them? They have to eat two to three times their body weight every single day. Um, this is to meet the energy demands from their bodies. They're quite small, meaning they lose heat quite easily. So they have an incredibly high metabolism, hence why they have to eat so much to meet the energy demands. That's, that's pretty mad, eating like two to three times your body weight. Yeah. Is there anything that you love eating that you'd be able to eat two to three times your body weight in? I think I could eat two to three times my body weight in mince pies. In mince pies. Easily, Easily. yes. Nice. <laughs> so do they find winter kind of hard? Like obviously there's not enough, there's not as much food available and they're probably losing heat at a much faster rate. Mm -hmm, absolutely. So during the winter, it's quite tricky for them because they can't hibernate like other mammals because they have to eat so often. So they have a pretty nifty strategy to overcome this. They actually shrink in size during the winter their internal organs shrink, their bones shrink, their muscles shrink, even their brain shrinks in size, which means that the energy demands of their body are much lower and that they can survive through the winter. Wow, it's pretty nifty uh, adaptation. Um, how do they hunt the things that they're eating? I assume like some of the things they're hunting are quite hard to catch. Yeah, absolutely. So they're pretty relentless hunters considering their size um, and also considering the fact they can't see very well. Like moles, they have really tiny eyes and they have very poor eyesight. Um, so they rely on their other senses such as smell and hearing. It's even thought that some shrews can echolocate like um, bats and dolphins. And they also use their really sensitive whiskers. They brush them around sort of find their way around and then when they brush past prey that's when they strike. That's a really impressive skill <laughs> considering like how much they have to consistently yeah. be eating. Um, yeah so what are, are your other favorite facts about shrews? I really love that baby shrews hold on to their mother's tail to move through places because they have really poor eyesight they follow the one in front so they all hold on to each other in a little train. That is very very sweet, sweet. yeah. Um, and just looking at these specimens over here, you can see how tiny mm -hmm. um, <laughs> they are. You said like the teeth are red. Can you talk a tiny yes. bit about that? So they have red tips on their teeth, some species of shrew, and it's thought that this is iron pigmentation, which uh, might help the teeth be stronger. That's so interesting. I thought it was like, obviously, <laughs> it must be quite intimidating if you are an insect or a slug or something that is being eaten by this to become it being like, yeah, being attacked by something with bright red teeth. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you thought shrews were, you know, cute and tiny, they're kind of intimidating, yeah. scary, I guess. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, thank you for telling me so much about shrews and how, you know, unexpected they are. Crazy. Yeah. Very welcome. Wow. So who thought that something so small could be so intimidating and have red teeth? Let us know your favorite shrew fact down in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more natural history content.